Well howdy 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 nearly senior citizen here, greetings boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is 6.48 a.m. It is Saturday. It is the 3rd of June. Yes, the 3rd of June. Oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Because I can. Oh, it is so nice to be able to use my hands after a full week of not being able to hokey smokes. I've also got a hamster crawling out of my, my pocket here. This is, of course, Bat Ears McGee, Batches Jr. Normally, when hamsters keep their ears next to their head, that's a sign of them being stressed out. His ears are always next to his head. When he's sleeping, he has his ears next to his head. When he's awake, when he's eating, when he, he just keeps his ears next to his head all the time. So it's not really a sign of stress for him. It's just he keeps his ears next to his head. I don't know why. He will bring them out, of course, and he looks really cute with his radar ears. But 90% of the time, he's got them crinkled up to his head. And it's, it's not really stress, though I'm sure there's probably a stress in there. I mean, I just woke him up, so he's stressed out. But he's a good little guy. You're a good guy. I'll put you back in your cage, though. I just wanted you to be able to say hi to everybody. He's got one of these purple platform things in his cage. I mean, they all do. Because they're too small, the cages are too small. I've got them divided up with the little dividers. So they've got a little bit of extra space. But he j gets up onto his purple thing and then he'll jump the few inches down onto his wheel and then he'll go wee 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 and then he'll start to run. Yes, yesterday we went food shopping and cannabis shopping and we dabbed out pretty good yesterday. And while I'm still just riding the tail of that, hokey smokes, it is nice. Oh, it is nice. I have a tube of RSO. Uh, we've got cannabis oil. I've got some bud right here. I'm going to, once again, See if I can throw myself on the mercy of all of you people there, though. As I've discovered, I'm going to have to get rid of my storage unit. I don't have enough money to pay for my storage unit. It's 160 and change per month. I don't have any money. This month, after I took out $200 for food and, uh, and cannabis and paid my rent, now when the, my rent check clears, I'm going to be negative. And I've only done those two things. So, uh, mm, uh, my rent's $1,050. Uh, I only have 1020 in the uh, checking account right now, so I'm gonna be minus like 50 some odd bucks. And I have my storage unit to pay for. And I have my Comcast bill to pay for. Now my parents are actually going to send me a $250 check for our Comcast bill. That's very nice of them. I really appreciate that to no end. Problem is I'm gonna be minus 50 at least. So I'm gonna get the money for the uh, Comcast and then not be able to pay it because I'm not gonna have enough. Am I, what's going to happen? Am I going to lose the internet this month? I don't know. I don't know. I still have my patreon.com paid money that's going to be coming in. Thank you so much, all of you who are donating to my patreon.com patron. Well, that you are my patrons. Thank you so much. I mean, I have come to, to require this money just to live. Because if I don't get any more right now, then I've got nothing to pay for my storage unit and no canvas for the rest of the month. So thank goodness at least that's coming in, though I don't know what I'm going to be able to do because like I said, I've got my storage unit fees to pay for. If I pay for that, I'm going to be minus $200 in my checking account. And then I'm going to have to get up to zero by the beginning of next month or I'm not going to be able to pay my rent. So I've got to stop paying for the unit, which means this month I've got to empty it out? I don't know. I don't have any place to put my stuff. I am quite, un quite unsure right now what I'm going to do. Monetarily, I seem to be stuck in a, uh, a hole that's kind of getting deeper no matter what I do. 
even though I've just declared bankruptcy and I'm on what's supposed to be a new level clear playing field, I'm immediately having to start digging a hole and that's not good because the holes get deeper and bigger until you can't survive in the hole anymore. So I've got to do something. I'm going to try and figure something out, which is also why I'm always making videos now too, because I've got to monetize. I've got to get money somehow. That's why I've got a mug and a t-shirt for sale on Teespring down there. If you can check those out. I mean, I'm desperate for something for money because I, I'm not going, I'm, it's not sustaining right now. I do, I make enough money on YouTube to like buy one low priced video game per month. And then I can't even pay for the tax. I have to pay for the tax with non YouTube money. So I make enough money from YouTube to buy one small video game per month. The rest of it, I'm relying on you for help. And I hate to say that, but it's true because I'm, I don't make any money off YouTube. I'm just right now surviving because of all of my Patreon.com patrons and the few of you that do actually donate quite a bit to my GoFundMe. Very few people donate. Those that do, thank you so very much. You are saving my life. I mean, I am sinking and I don't know what to do. I'm trying. I'm always looking for ways to make money, but I can't work. I've got to do stuff outside of regular work because I can't work physically. I can't do it mentally. My bipolar depression, my de yeah, bipolar disorder, my depression, add all my, my developing. I'm not agoraphobic, thank God, but my social anxieties are bad and I, I don't see them getting better. I'm trying, I'm pushing out, I'm going out into the world and stuff, but it's, oh, so I'm trying. So I, I'm also trying desperately to make money so that I don't go dark and become homeless and die on the street. Past that, haven't really been able to, well, I haven't been able. Yesterday, I wasn't able to do anything because I was sleeping. What I was trying to say was I haven't been doing anything because until you know we went out yesterday and bought cannabis, I haven't had anything. I went to the post office last night, walked to the post office, first time in a long time. That was very, very nice. It was very, very cool being able to do that. And thank goodness, but I haven't been walking anywhere or doing anything. My life has been really, really dull. I've been just sitting here in this room or going downstairs and being with my housemates and then sleeping and that's it. I d haven't had anything to do or, or such like that. It's just been boring. My life has been boring and well, and desperately trying to figure out ways to not sink beneath the uh, waves of financial instability. I desperately need something for that. But I don't really want to just talk about that. I mean, that's bad. That's like a huge threatening wave just waiting to fall on me from behind. But that's not all of my life. I mean, yes, that is f like uh, shading my life. And it's a part of everything because I've got this huge wave of financial, oh, you're going to die waiting right behind me. And when it falls, that's going to be bad. So yeah, it's influencing everything that I say and do, but it can't be the end all and be all. I got more of a life than just worrying about how I'm going to survive. Like I got to take care of my hamsters. I got food for my hamsters. I was running low. I didn't even have food for my hamsters. Poor little guys. I'm not going to be able to buy a bin cage. I can't afford a bin cage because already right now when my uh, check cashes for my rent, I'm going to be minus in my checking account. So I don't have any money available to buy bins. So I can't buy extra cages for them. So they're going to have to stay in these criminally small cages. And I hate that. I want them to be in good cages, but what can I do? I mean, if I become homeless because we can't afford to live here, then I'm not going to have hamsters. So why would I even have, well, I wouldn't be surviving for long after that either, but I, so priorities, I don't know. Thumbs up.
Yeah, I'm worried about life. I'm really worried. I mean, I have the threat of homelessness and all that constantly on my mind because I, every, I mean, I get, before I get my disability, I am in panic because I'm negative and I don't know what to do. Then I get my disability, I pay for as much as I can, and then I'm in panic because I don't have enough money to pay for the rest of it. So nothing is wonderful, really, in life. There's no way for me to get away from the stress and the pain and the fear because it's always there. Thumbs up. Yeah, I wish I knew some way, somehow, to actually get money, but I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm trying. I'm doing video after video, and uh, the amount of money that I make from people watching my videos keeps falling every month because people aren't watching. Yay! I mean, you are? I mean, obviously I am, and my subscriber count keeps going up. It's quite awesome. Thank you all so very, very much. I mean, I never expected to get more than five subscribers in my life. And look at this. I'm close, I'm close to 100,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you all so very, very much. I mean, that's astonishing. But cool. But I, I don't want to have just boring and awful stuff where I'm worrying about my life. But that's... I talk about the stuff I worry about, and I'm worrying about this, so thumbs up. Now what I also want to do, because I don't just want to talk about that and I don't just want to worry about that, is I'm opening up the community page for my channel so that I'll have the last 24 hours worth of comments that people have left open and available here because I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 kind commenters for having left me a comment. Yay! Now I'm not reading the comments yet. I have been reading the comments, but I'm not doing it right now. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to read the comments or thumbs up or anything like that. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Whether you're saying I'm a wonderful person, a horrible person, or just a person, all of these things are equal in my eyes. And I'm thanking you for having left a comment. It doesn't matter the, uh, the uh, content of the comment, just the fact that you left a comment is awesome. And thank you so very, very much. Now, if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I'm terrible at names. I do my best, but no disrespect is intended. And if you'd like a shout out, just ask for one. If I catch it, if I catch it, you have a guaranteed shout out. So definite thumbs up. I did not see any, but if you want one, just ask for it. So first off, Pedro Barbosa Duarte. Thank you very, very much. And <laughs> really, the fart sniffer. <laughs> Thank you. And Bain H, thank you very much. Framar601, thank you very, very much. And PFB Gaming, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Breaker Games, thank you very much. Dylan Wolf, spelled D Y L E N, son of a gun, thank you. And Claude5190, yes, indeed. One day that song will get chosen, I know it. And then Faded David Official, thank you very, very much. Jennifer Andrade, thank you, greatly appreciated. Salvatore Impius, thank you, greatly appreciated. And Tundras, 3200, way, way cool, good name. And Berg, Bergman Malton, oh, interesting, thank you very, very much. Vincent Foliolo, Folio? yeah, ben, I keep stumbling over your name, but Vincent Foliolo, huh, son of a gun, thank you very much. And Parkinwitz, huh. Heck of a name, thank you. Mika Mach 5, very, very cool. Good to see you in the comments. Tobias Vector, son of a gun, thank you. And then there is Jovi Vima, thank you very, very much. And The Horror Files, thank you very, very much. And Billy Shepard, thank you, greatly appreciated. Toby Curlis, thank you, greatly appreciated again. Cameron Cosin, thank you. And Ice Demon, thank you very, very much. Chris Jericho, thank you, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Leaf, last but not least, is uh, Rebecca Robb, R A A B, son of a gun. Thank you all so very, very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, interacting with people, and it's awesome. It's not a pretty landscape behind my eyes, so thank you very, very much. Now, I do have time to do this as well, where I'm going to go through and thank, well, not thank people, greet people in their home languages. If you'd like to hear a greeting in your home language, please let me know down in the comments, you know, how to say hello, good morning, and all that. I'll put the greeting in there. 
My greetings hasn't changed for over a year now because no one tells me any greetings. Does no one want to hear a greeting in their language? So let me know. I'll add it on here. Bom dia. Dia dia. Dia guit. Guten tag. Ahanyo asail. Buenos dias. Buna dimanata. Ohio. Le breed. Lavas ritas. Kamusta. Bonjour. No. Terra homocost. Yorigel. Bariluz. Nihau. Kalimera. Bonjour. Boker top. Jean Tobri. Or Les Harmon. Chess. Labdien. Dobre utro. Mesa olhele. Dobre rano. Bereda. Priviet. Merhaba. And go forth and have the crack. Good food, good drink with good friends. A very good thing. Does not have to be an alcoholic beverage. Doesn't have to be crack cocaine. Doesn't have to be a prostitute spreading her thighs for you. The crack. Good food, good drink, good friends. Definite thumbs up. I'm at 15 minutes and change. I don't really have a ton to say other than the fact that I am going to have a reaction video coming up today. I'm going to have a game video coming up today. I'm going to start streaming life no, not Life is Strange. Um, the Last of Us Remastered. I have that for the PS4. I've been planning on streaming that. And so I'm going to be streaming. Maybe not tonight. I don't know. I'm still trying to get uh, my Elgato software to work. And so far, the Elgato software doesn't work with the Elgato HD60. So, yay. But I'm still going to work on it. So, well, it's 16.30. I might as well say, if you can check Click on the link down there. Click on the link. If you can click on the show more down there, it opens up all the links that I've got underneath the video. Show more. It's There's all sorts of links there you can follow from my Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Patreon, not Patreon. Why do I do that? Patreon.com. Uh, then there's my blog. There's all sorts of things you can check out if you want it. They're all right in there. Don't have to, of course. Can't make you. Wouldn't want to for a But if you'd like, there's a whole bunch of links. And if you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. I do appreciate all the positive validation for my existence. Definite thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. If you could subscribe to the channel, that too would be awesome. Very, very cool. I Not for everybody. I know this. But if you are down for it, then thumbs up. Hope to keep you as a subscriber forever and ever and ever. Well past the time. The sun has grown past its uh, life as a yellow, uh, whatever the hell are. It's not a yellow giant, whatever the hell a star is, but until it becomes a uh, a red giant and expands beyond the, the uh, bounds of our tiny orbit and we become a part of the solar body itself, then I'll think about, uh, you know, letting you go as a subscriber. Something like that, anyway. Well, it's uh, almost 18 minutes and change. I really don't have anything else to say. I know I've just been talking about, you know, my fears about money and because it's a strong fear i don't want to lose my channel i don't want to lose my home i don't want to lose my stuff in storage but i can't afford the storage anymore uh, right now i can't afford even what's happening in my life so yay uh, well you take care have a great day today. This is one of the, my parents sent me some new shirts. They actually sent me a coat too as well. Kind of a nice coat. It's really weird though. It's got a, the collar has got belt loops on the collar. And then the collar actually has a neck belt. So you, you take this belt that goes around the neck and the neck belt loops. And then you pull it tighter around your shirt. And then you go snap, snap. So it's like really tight around your neck, cutting off the blood flow to your head. I guess it looks cool. It's a, kind of a summer coat, but it's, it's a lighter thing, but it's black. So I, black is actually really good for, is lice, lice light fluffy loose fitting black is better for uh keeping you cool than wearing light colors but it's got to be loose fitting and you got to have airflow you know I mean, you have that black keeps you cooler there your lesson for the day it's true look it up i don't lie i say weird stuff that sounds bizarre but if you look it up you go oh yeah he was right thumbs up on that and if i'm wrong and I'm not in this case. You know, I do like to admit that because if I'm wrong, I want to know that I'm wrong so I can be right. Thumbs up on that. Well, you take care. Have a great day today. 
I will see you on the flip side. I've got fuzzy wuzzy hamsters and I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've got a reaction video and a game video coming up. So you take care and I will see you on the flip side.